Greetings everyone, here's Lodric again and this is a game War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. This is my play by Ema Match against Kilroy. He is a commander of the Allied Forces and for me it is the Empire of Japan. This is a game version 27, new map layout. And Kilroy also got the working American torpedoes at the start of the war to boost his uh, uh, fighting abilities or punching power. Last turn I was able to detect hmm, an enemy carrier source of Nomaya and my own carrier fleet is north of Komak, so maybe one or two days uh, distance. Uh, and I also looks like can't find at least one torpedo hit on this APs. This APs was together with the carrier, so this is maybe reinforcements going for Nomaya. Hopefully I can maybe intercept them. And this is now my heavy formation engaging here uh, enemy uh, cruiser formation. So I let this play and see how well this night fight will end. This is moonlight 0% so and the Japanese they don't have radar. So let's see. My bad shit get a 8 inch shell hit. But this will normally make will have no impact. And this is my 36 cm or 14 inch uh, shell hit on an enemy heavy cruiser. This will have an impact. Dangerous are always torpedoes because the torpedo hit is always uh, a lot of flooding damage. And I'm so far away from Japan. This 15 cm cannot penetrate the armor of the Cornwall. Little unlucky. So, 8 inch shell hit, fire, so. Cornwell looks not so nice. Yeah, still no penetration. Six inch hit, hit on freezing. Four inch shell hit. So the problem of this uh, anti aircraft cruisers are that they're really they have all heavy flag guns, so their firepower for surfaces surface engagements are very small. I mean these are all destroyer guns. Four inch, five inch. You can maybe sink a destroyer with this, but even against a light cruiser, this is a uh, question. So the focus is Cornwall. It's burning, maybe more easy to see in the night. But don't ask me if the game really simulates this. If the ship is under fire, if it's more easy to see in the dark. Second hit on Fuso, but I mean, eight inches simply not enough to penetrate a battleship armor. So the only thing I fear is enemy torpedoes. Is 
uh, increase, uh, decreasing, so more likely to create a hit. If this is good for me, hard to say. I have normally the firepower and the range. Distance is maybe better for me. Uh, Cornwell already is a third 14 inch shell hit. Four. Now with wheel critical damage, this have more impact. So Cornwell looks like it's dead. The damage is now really increasing. The ship is burning and slow and this means uh, it's more likely to create an exit. And 14 inch or 8 inch, they all penetrate the armor. So 14 centimeter was a no chance. You will not penetrate any heavy cruiser armor. Good. So. Heavy cruiser is confirmed, destroyed and sunk. Cornwall is not more. And the rest of the allied fleet can escape. And for me it is only light damage on both of my battleships. I would say a victory for Japan. Yeah. But it will consume some of my ammunition. Still a victory. And we have Still night engagement, second part. Allies less one heavy cruiser. I think all my ships are here. So the rest is still the same. So it's only one heavy cruiser less for the allies. Try it again. But this is now 2000 yards, super short range. So very easy or more easy to create a torpedo hit in this game. But my battleship has the first shell hit on Australia. Three inch, five inch shell hits, eight inch again. It simply will not penetrate the armor. So Australia is maybe the next cruiser going down. Two hits already, three hits, all with penetration. it's only 2,000 yards, even Japanese flick guns can shell the enemy. Yeah, and this is a Dutch uh, anti-aircraft cruiser, 
and uh, most of the Dutch cruisers are with nearly no protection. They have maybe guns, but no armor. All the shells will not penetrate, but they still can create system damage and increase the fire. And it looks like Chicago's maybe belt armor is thinner than other cruisers, or it's the distance of 2000 yards that they uh, you know, penetrate. Oof, now my destroyer is burning. And a torpedo hit on the enemy destroyer. Finally, some Japanese surface torpedo hits. So. This destroyer is likely also no more. Destroyer, uh, battleship, and heavy cruiser make a collision. So, if the allies are not strong enough to sink my ships, then my own ships can help a little out. So, Sumatra lent here some hits, but again. 6 inch, 15 centimeter. There's simply no way that there's really critical damage on a battleship for this. On the other side, 14 centi or 14 inch, 36 centimeter is maybe one of the best uh, caliber size to sink enemy cruisers. So the Japanese battleships, they're really not so good for battleships duty. Against uh, better American battleships, they will always lose. But for hunting enemy cruisers, they yeah, still have purpose. heavy or 25 millimeter flat guns hits not sure suppressing fire nothing against destroyers this have the impact I mean destroyers have no armor so that will work Australia is also gonna. This is now the second heavy cruiser that Kilbury lost this night. And Chicago is also no more looking so well.
two big bad uh, hits. Then the next torpedo hit on an enemy destroyer. Not sure why they don't try to sink the cruisers, but if they can hit, then I will not complain. And I mean, Chicago is already dead in the water. If I now send the ship down with torpedo hit or with shell hits, it's not a big difference. destroyer out and two heavy cruisers out and for me yeah, the collision damage is maybe the biggest impact two successful night engagements torpedo attack failed and one hit on my So no daylight engagement. Maybe enough for my ships. Most important, the heavy units are all destroyed. The rest can escape, will not have too much impact more. And there is an enemy destroyer or corvette in the water, the west coast of India. trying to attack can bypass the enemy cap fighters and going for the enemy ooh, anti aircraft cruiser that is of course tough but they miss it. Ooh, the most dangerous cruiser sure. Japanese pilots are a little aggressive Ground strikes in China. Borneo. It's Kiro's uh, torpedo bombers coming, but I have kept at Luganville. And I'm able to intercept this Catalinas. But, but I cannot uh, stop the British or Australian Air Force. Still, so, ground strikes against my army at Townsville. British bombers trying to stop my forces in North Borneo. So this is now airstrike, one hex away, and here's an enemy destroyer. Okay. And the first pilot he immediately then they bomb it. I 
I don't know if I have only bombs left or I switch all two bombs. But two bomb hits already will normally be the end for a destroyer. So only two bomb hits at the end. But the destroyer is out of action. Search plane gets killed by enemy cap fighters. So very likely this is a carrier force. Alina's again trying, but they cannot pass. Japanese cap are always in position. Okay, so airstrikes are light. West of Pearl Harbor. But of course, now not more. So I, my tanks arrive at Kuei Yang, I send them source. It took this important uh, crossroad, there's also I-16 on the ground. This more or less split all of the Chinese supply flow. Bombardment is also powerful, many units getting destroyed. Cylon, Burma, all bombardments. I don't have the power, firepower and advantage of LV over the British to really wipe them out. But it's a question of time. So this day or night, at least the night was very successful for the Japanese surface fleet. And the Japanese Zeros was able to defeat all incoming airstrikes. Oh. So kills 17 to 2. Seagulls going down with the cruisers, Varros going down with the British cruiser. I lost one Jake over the enemy carrier. Unluckily, I had no carrier strike, but okay. Uh, yeah. This means I have uh, one wounded pilot, so the pilot was able to return to base, but without the airframe. Ship sunk with fog of war, but uh, I think it was confirmed. Chicago, Australia, and Cornwall go down. Sumatra, no, uh, but also both of this destroyer. I think there was even a third destroyer going down. So Sumatra is still okay, it's only lightly damaged. But Chicago is a Northampton class cruiser, 
so they have only a small 75 millimeter belt that is really for heavy cruiser not so much australia is a australia class cruiser so compared to this with 115 this is like japanese heavy cruisers much better protected but you can also see the weight this is nearly 10,000 tons in chicago is only 9,000 tons of course there is some yeah, something missing and cornwall is a can class cruiser uh, yeah, they have twin turrets i have seen kent have twin and australia i think oh i've also twin okay maybe other design difference so three cruisers less and plus three destroyers of course the destroyers will not be so important in the long run but killing heavy cruisers is maybe nice give me more uh, possibilities to operate more aggressive in the future still i think latest in autumn of 42 this will simply getting more and more difficult for japan so no real big change i think there was in china any real battle uh, yeah i took here this uh yeah, crossroad now all of this uh, main roads are blocked and uh, no more or less yeah there still can some flow from west china to Chongqing, but it's also possible still here but it's yeah i think not more so easy uh, no change here i catched up I, but i think uh, australian forces will drop out of the hex before i can attack next turn but this is fine my tanks are now in position the big battle was here at new caledonian i sent my cruisers in with a little risky move because i was not sure if the catalinas will maybe attack me but i had here my my pete uh, support cap fighters not that they really can do too much but i say okay i risk it at the end they never had to to intercept and i was able to sink his three heavy cruisers this is nice but, but i f was not able to hit this enemy transport unit so and there are more so here a lot of ap's here's a lot of ap's so there's maybe a lot of infantry coming to nomaya just now and here's a normally somewhere also enemy i think it must be here somewhere but i don't know maybe it's a mis uh yeah misidentification there's a carrier here and my own carriers are no this is a yeah this is my carrier fleet with cover force so i have always my carrier fleet and i always walk now with cover force always follow cover force even if the cover force getting destroyed most important is i cover my carriers so i'm uh, just barely out of range because i operate with a range of seven with my torpedo bombers and six of my dive bombers and this uh i always fear a little to come too close to some air base because then this, with uh, other games like kill uh, jochen Sometimes on the air base or land base, you simply have uh, the possibility to put on a lot of fighters in short time. You can normally fly them from Suva over or from Australia. And then I maybe attack here and then run in 100 enemy fighters or something like this. Uh, and then we fight over enemy base and then I lose a lot of my top pilots. So I play it a little, I don't play it too aggressive here. All of my pilots are here normally very well with between 70 and no even how much is my experience of my fighter force here in the carriers 78 76 77 ah oh, this is a new one trained 43 79 78 yeah so you can see there's one group completely this is a new trained pilot group they just barely finished their basic training like 65 55 45 experience this is maybe the minimum you need to have a pilot in combat duty but better is of course like 70 70 and 50 experience yeah. but 
I don't have enough pilots. This is scenario one, and here you have simply restrictions. Good. But, uh, yeah, so my force is now retreating. You can see that my, I had a battleship collide with a heavy cruiser, so you can see last damage is from a collision. This is why I have here major damage, but not too much. This is a other ship hit the battleship, also damaged, and this is more or less everything. And I had here one destroyer gets hit by, I think, one or two four inch, five inch shell hits. So, very light damage, you can say, compared to what uh, I inflicted. Of course, I had here a lot of battleships and heavy cruisers against only three heavy cruisers. But this was a night engagement on super short range. Could be and uh, easy different, like uh, if the British American was able to hit one or two torpedo hits, because British, Japanese, American torpedoes in this game with this setup, they all will have 90% uh, uh, explosion chance. So it's only skills of the crew and captain to land a torpedo hit. Good, then see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.